Hey folks, JP here. I'm in New Orleans. I'm at a monastery and I'm removing an open air hive. That's in a lemon tree. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. I hope you all enjoy the video. So this is the hive, folks. It's a big one too. And the, uh, the groundskeeper put this plastic up over it, made a little roof. We did that uh, last, last year. Today I have uh, two mediums with me. I don't have any deep, so that's what we're going to secure them in and transfer them in. This open hair hive I'm fooling with is, a, is pretty aggressive. Now, I don't know why they're particularly aggressive. Uh, this had a little rain, okay? A little, little small, grizzly rainstorm, very light rain. But they were mean before that. All the hives were moving lately in New Orleans. So they don't have any honey storms, so that could be part of it. But I think it's part of the, the, the genetics of this colony. and. Um, I went inside a little while ago and I warned all the sisters and the groundskeeper, you know, just to stay inside. Don't don't come out. These bees are particularly aggressive. Check this out. I can sit here in my vacuum right up against my veil. Just sit here and vacuum bees all day long. <laughs> Inevitably at some point. A lot of hives that are aggressive, once you vacuum a good bit of them, a lot of times they do let up somewhat. Now, I don't know if these are going to to or not. Actually, I've seen a difference in them. Uh, they're not quite as aggressive as they were a little while ago. But of course, I've vacuumed a decent bit of bees at this point. Let me show you how mean these bees are, folks. Blow on them. Go right to the cat. Like this in the gene pool. Okay. All right, I'm going to show you what we got left here. The bees are still mean, by the way, too. We got this last. Uh, Brood comb section. So I'm trying to force the queen to, to wind up on this section. Oh, they're mean bees, folks. I mean, this stayed mean the whole way through. I mean, they let up a little bit because I've vacuumed a couple of boxes, but <laughs> they're really aggressive. Well, folks, it looks like I got the Wicked Witch of the Southeast. <laughs> and uh, she was on my top cover. Right in there. She's full up, but damn. I did see her one time up there, and she ran behind a piece of cone. Anyway, this is our queen, and more than likely, uh, I hate to do it, but she just might be pinched because. 
They're just so aggressive. Anyway, <laughs> there she is. Big old thing too. I wanted to uh, get more bees covering the brood, so I opened the box, but they were just kind of piddling around. So I went ahead and shook it on the ground, and uh, you can see they're doing the march. Okay. Well, here's our setup. Two mediums. I decided to give them that extra medium if they needed the space. Just to give you an idea what this looks like. I made this, uh, just cut out a uh, rectangle on top of one of my top covers and used some number eight hallway cloth just to give them some ventilation. Got the feeder on top. Hope you enjoyed the video. Another one from JPB Man. Y'all have a good day.